this video, we're going to look at how you can leverage your live data in your hydraulic model using Info360 and InfoWater Pro. So who is this video for? Um, really anyone that is responsible for managing a hydraulic model and access to SCADA data could benefit from viewing this video. Uh, more specifically, utilities that are looking to run their hydraulic model with the most up-to-date data. Um, really at any regularity that they want, as opposed to maybe waiting for a calibrating calibrated model every couple of years. Uh, consultants that are managing hydraulic models for utilities, this should could help with model calibration and verification. And then IT and SCADA teams that want to enable secure and easy access to data within the organization. So the workflow we're gonna walk through today, uh, really there are two steps. First, we're gonna run the hydraulic model using SCADA data. And that will go by creating a skate event, run the skate run using that event, select the element so that we can grab those results and then get around to viewing those results. The second workflow we're going to walk through is actually comparing your hydraulic model results to the live results. So in that case, we're going to open the live data adapter, select either an individual sensor or in this case, a group of sensors. We're going to run the gap analysis, select the comparison graph, and then compare the results. Now we're gonna show you the workflow within the software. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is open InfoWater Pro, and then come up to the Live Data Adapter. Under the Live Data Adapter, there are a few things that you're gonna to wanna to check. The main for step number one is going to be that you have an active tenant uh, next to this Info360. If you don't, you wanna to go to Data Connection Info360 and connect and make sure that the proper tenant is established. Seeing as the tenant we want to use is already established, we can go ahead and go to the SCADA event manager. And as we can see, we have a couple events that are already created. If we wanted to create a new event, what we're doing with these events is telling InfoWater Pro to go to Info360 and pull down that data for a set amount of time. We would just go to new, give it a name and a start and end date and then that is gonna pull the data down. You can also get data refresh, purge the data, or edit and delete. Since we already have these three events already set up, we're gonna go ahead and use the February 2022 three day. You're gonna to wanna to activate the event and close. Next, we're gonna to go to the Run Manager under the Model Explorer and make sure you start by going to the SCADA event. There are some changes you can do here with, with demand adjustments, uh, choosing if you want to pull the information from Info360 or an SDA file. You could also come to the live data adapter directly from the screen or create a new SCADA event, uh, refresh the boundary conditions, uh, some other options within this run manager. But since we're just going to keep it normal using the February 2022 three day that we already established, we can go ahead and press run. And so what InfoWater Pro is doing is that's running your hydraulic model running a simulation using the SCADA data to influence it. And so we're gonna switch to the uh, SCADA run that we just conducted, and now we can zoom into some of our assets and look at the graph. So now we can see this; these are the head results for our tank using that SCADA data. I could come through, look at the flow, percent volume, really you could open up multiple different assets to pull out that information. But now our model has been run uh, using the live SCADA data. So next we're gonna transition to the second workflow where we actually compare the hydraulic model standard run with our live data. For this portion of the video, we're gonna walk through the second workflow, which is comparing the live data from Info360 Insight with your standard Info3, InfoWater Pro run. So we're gonna start by going to once again, the live data adapter, but uh, instead of going to the SCADA event manager, we are gonna to wanna to go down to sensor. And so down here, we're gonna have a list of sensors with sensor IDs and the element names. And what these are, are really the mapping of the sensor data and your sensors within Info360 Insight to InfoWater Pro. So you can do a couple things in here. If I go ahead and open up one of 
the uh, sensors, as you can see, this is the mapping information, sensor ID from Info360, the element type. What I really want to point out under this tab is coming down here to model influence. So if I come to model influence, there are a couple different options. You can have none, where it have, will have no influence on the model. I can set it to initial conditions where Info Water Pro is going to use that sensor just for the initial condition and then run as normal. And then you can also have continuous where it is going to try and map as close as possible. So for this one, we're just going to start from initial condition. But this is how uh, you can really see some of the bridges between Info360 Insight and Info Water Pro. So the big thing that we want to do here is compare the results of a hydraulic run with our live SCADA data. So we're going to go ahead and choose all of our sensors and come up to gap analysis. So this is going to open up another window where you can have different categories. You can choose different SCADA events. But what we're going to want to look at here is look at our data and then look at this category tab because what the category tab tells you is how close your results and your Info360 Insight information, your live information are to one another. So you have good, fair, and poor. So we're gonna search by uh, the different types and let's go ahead and start with a tank. And if I come to the comparison graph, graph, as we can see, this has pretty good calibration. As we can see, the starting points start pretty similar, starts to get off a little bit from timing, but really it is a fairly well calibrated instance between the two. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and choose multiple of these and show you how you can create uh, different dashboards, different workspaces within InfoWater Pro using that data. So if I come to this gap graph, what it is telling me as I go through these is it's telling me the gap between my live data and my hydraulic model, the differences. So as we can see, most of them are, are pretty well uh, calibrated, giving you pretty close information. Uh, but the green line is one that seems to be off a little ways. So what we can do is we can take this gap graph, we can drop it down, we can go to, this is the J1404, which is the uh, suction pressure. And so what we can do is we can also look at the comparison graph. We're gonna go ahead and pull this down to the workspace as well. And now we have created a nice little workspace where we can compare multiple as well as look at the comparison graph against that one J1404. See, as the time goes on, it starts to become off more and more. And especially when we get to the end of the run, there is clearly something different going on in the measured results to our modeled results. So that could be a key uh, notification indicator that we want to look at this, explore this a little bit further. So to bring this full circle, what we can then do, knowing that this is J1404, is go back to our live data adapter. We can search by the element name, go to J1404, and by pressing this button, it's actually gonna zoom into the element and select it so then we can come in and see how we can calibrate it a little differently so that the results are closer to that one-to-one -one, try and clean up some of those calibration efforts. Now that we've gone through the workflows, I hope you can see some of the benefits of leveraging your live data with your hydraulic model, being able to streamline that data exchange, having the live data being brought into the model for use, increase but also secure accessibility for that SCADA data, as well as aiding in model calibration and verification. We look forward to seeing you on the next Water Drops.